Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be part two, so we're just going to jump right in. These are the blueprints that I left off on. I do pick up two of them, and my daughter's hand is in that camera. She'll move in a second. <laughs> she likes to be held all the time. Again, I did do comps on these, and they're, they do really well. And I don't know if it's because it's a certain building that somebody wants, or if some people just like to have the blueprints. All right, so this is like um, little travel guides and other little booklets. This was $2.50. Um, it's America's Navy. It's stapled closed, so I haven't got to look at it. But I'm just going to take a gamble on it because it... I know it's like a military, that's what it looks like to me, so, with Navy. I'm sure it has to do something with that. And then vintage maps. Some maps can go really well, depending on the ones you find. That one was $3, City of Wichita. Um, I do live in Kansas, and I think Wichita might be a harder sell on eBay since it's... Um, you have to find that right buyer. Kansas City map. There was so much to look at here at this store. And that one's a Denver. I'm trying to find one of like America. Not just one state. Because I feel like that would do better. Colorado. I don't know. Maybe I should have gotten that Wichita one because that Wichita one looked really old. I just like the the front cover. Okay, this is $15, and it was an art print. It said made in, or the print was from Italy, but I don't know for sure. These just look like a baggie of paper, but it's, there are little tiny rose quartz in there. It was $15 on that. $2.50, it says they're mice, but they didn't look like mice. <laughs> It just looked like little balls. A little Precious Moments book, $10 on that. So some cookbooks can do well. I've done well with cookbooks before, but the cookbooks prices were pretty high. $8 on this wooden figurine. Um, it's like a music box and it's by Inesco. These were really dirty, and I don't know if they worked. I could have plugged it in, but I didn't feel like it. And it's like those blow molds, but it's big lights. Maybe I should have picked them up, because I know blow molds do really well, but outlets like that scare me. I'm too scared to plug them in in my house, because I don't want it to, like, catch my house on fire. I don't know. I guess it's just me being paranoid about stuff like that. So normally, if you don't see the tag on it, the tag will be on the inside of the book. $12 on this one. I like to find books that have a really nice cover and a nice um, binding. $20 on this little vintage cake toppers. The whole jar was $20. I know some cake toppers can do really well, but I felt like that was mostly just balls and like um, balloons, so that's why I left it. Maybe if it had more figurines, I would have picked it up. And if it was a little bit lower than 20. That's a little sign that says, please take a soldier home to remember to pray over the people fighting in the overseas. And that was cute.
I like these western style frosted glasses. They were a set for $20. See me holding, holding her, and she's holding her baby. I do like these. They're at the bottom. Um, they're like those magic cooler things, and I don't know if the blue was supposed to be like that because I had some as a kid, but I don't remember being blue like that. So I don't know if maybe it's just old. It's a set of two for $5. I maybe should have grabbed them. But I don't know if there would be a, like a recall on them. And I didn't want to get in trouble by selling them on eBay. They're a little yucky on the inside. Big giant toy chest for $150. That was pretty cool. So this is one of those cookie jars that make the noise when you open it. And that one says sausages on it. And it's a dog. And it was $20. So I recently sold a cow cookie jar that makes the noise. And it's plastic like this for $30. Little Clifford, the big red dog, finger puppets. So these are some vintage cookbooks. Some of those were just um, inserts, like one page. This one is a Carnations cookbook by Mary Blake, and it is $3. It looks really good condition. I mean, the outside does look like it might have, like, water damage in the past, but it's got those iconic pictures on the inside, so I do pick that up. And that was just a couple pages on that one, so I picked up the one that was bigger for $3. These look like some souvenir pictures, and it was $3.95. I did leave that behind. They were pretty neat, though. They had that deck of cards right there that says Missouri. I did leave it because the deck of cards were open. Maybe I should have grabbed them, but they wanted $5 on the deck of cards. This is a bowling league patch. And they also had this... It's a Honda motorcycle repair book, um, service manual from 1969 to 1972, and it's $5. I do pick it up because some people look for them as collectible pieces or they use them to repair their motorcycle. I also found this Astrodome. Um, booklet. It was probably a souvenir piece and it says from 1968 on it. All the pages look good. The outside's not like pristine condition but from 1968 that's why I pick it up. And the patch was $3. I am putting everything back where I found it and I'll be picking up those few things and putting them in the buggy. That one says it's a sticker. I'm guessing these are from the gas stations. That one's Texaco. Some of them are keychains and vintage pens. Those are some postcards. The postcards, two of them are for a dollar. They're pretty cool. Postcards don't do very well on eBay unless you have them as a lot. 
inside this case is a whole bunch of different stuff. So they've got the Viewmaster for $15. They've got a belt buckle for $15, a pocket knife. I'm not sure what that orange thing is. Kind of looks like a piggy bank almost. These are bottle caps, $9 for the whole set. Some more traveling maps. $25 on that caricature. So there's a whole bunch of bags of pins. They were $5 for the whole bag, and I don't know about vintage pins. Maybe I should have picked them up. I was trying to see if I could find um, certain brands in there. There are a lot of gas station ones. I don't know. Sometimes I have regrets when I put stuff back, and this one might be one of mine. There's some that are just like local, like Kansas ones, so I don't know. And these are from a 2002 state fair. We have a river fest in Wichita, and it normally lasts about a week or like four days. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have grabbed them. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of those little river fest pens, $5 each. not sure what that one was so these are like little um, service papers that they would get at the dealerships that one says it's from 1957 right there I just think that's crazy um, I do pick up one of these and that was a gamble. It was $3 for a pack of them, which isn't bad. That one's only three, but the one on the bottom has more in it. So I do pick up the one on the bottom. So I do know collectors like the kind, these kind of items, especially if they're really big into cars. And that's just a real life moment of shopping with uh, two toddlers and an eight-year-old. <laughs> Sometimes they like to grab stuff off the shelf and I had to put that back but I'm going to put this in my buggy and we are going to go to a different booth and see what else they have so again it's three dollars that front page does have a lot of it looks like um like it might have gotten wet or like an oil stain it's a service bulletin It is signed, but I don't know if it's signed by like somebody who is um, well known or not. And that one has pin or a pencil mark all over it, so I do leave this one behind. I love this rocking horse. It's fifty-two dollars. It's so cute. That would be really cute if you were a photographer and had like a little, like your one-year-old set up and do like smash cakes and stuff and have that as a background or a prop. That would be so cute. I love these little cars. That whole set, the garage setup was $65 and one of the cars was $8. A vintage Boy Scouts. Now I don't know if that was like really vintage or how old it is, but it was $18 on this one. There was a lot of people, so I didn't want to get them on camera. A little 
little souvenir. Said it was a magnet, but it looks like nail clippers. And it says Japan on it, but I kind of, I don't know for sure, but I'm picking it up anyways. These are little stones. And again, I don't know how to tell if a stone is real or if it's uh, man-made or not. Those spiral stones down there, I don't know for sure. And that one says turquoise type. And it looks like there was like glue residue on the back. So I'm not sure. Pretty interesting though. My kids love rocks. $10 on that little egg. All of these mugs are $5 a piece. Little box, a little wooden box for $15. I like this Coca-Cola mug, but it was $10 for one. That said it was a night light. Candle holder, I'm assuming, because they got a candle in it. Could it may not be a candle holder. These look like little ornaments. Alright, we're gonna go to one of my favorite sections that I always like to look at when I come here. So these are, these are stones that this guy finds out in the wild and he does the taxidermy. Isn't that cool? That one's a bat. A tarantula for $49.99. Another one, $59.99. They're just so interesting to me. I definitely would never have one hanging up at my house, but maybe a butterfly. Maybe the butterfly ones. I really like that pink one. That was $29.99. So that wouldn't be like for resale. I would definitely buy those and keep them for myself. A whole set. Like a little bat family. Pretty creepy. <laughs> and the, the case was $150 for them. I do like that butterfly. That one's $39.99. Toucan's pretty cool. And the parrots. And those are made out of stone. So cool. You never know what you're going to find in an antique store, I swear. Just like Goodwill, you don't know. That one was $49.99. A piranha for $79.99. $3.99 on this egg. I thought about getting it, but I left it. I do like that blue one too. That one's $14.99. The mortar and pestles are really nice. See, I'm still holding onto the egg, but I don't grab him. I leave it behind. I remember having these as a kid. They're like those little ladybugs that jiggle when you open. It's pretty fun. My kids love anything like that. That's fun. And those were a dollar. So this is going to be the end of part two. And part three will be up on Friday. So be on the look for that. Um, if you have your notifications on, it will alert you whenever it's uploaded. So many cool things. That one's a, a wasp. 
and a bracelet. So cool. All right, so we'll see you again on Friday. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.